Hi, and welcome back to Hidden Agenda Part 3. This is Biohazard 13. And Angel's Calamity. And we are about to start Part 3 of this. We just ended Chapter 1, so go back and watch the first two videos if you didn't. So we Seriously, completed... spoilers. Yeah, so we completed Chapter 1, and now we're going on to Chapter 2. Let's do it. And here we go. Becky arrested Finn, but her partner was electrocuted. Becky was promoted into homicide under Sergeant Riggs. Carl Carter became her new partner. Yeah, Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. She met him at the court that same day. Ooh. Ooh. Felicity pursued, persuaded Judge Vanstone to release Finn into police custody. No. Nothing else. Oh. oh. Okay, uh, Felicity invited Becky to home to view the case files. Becky and Felicity went over the case files together. Where were you on that? Be oh, Becky told Felicity about her feud with Calvary. I didn't... I thought the talk It's okay. Was, it's okay. Yeah. Becky had an alibi for the night of Calvary's murder. Yes, she did. I'm glad we went with Felicity. Right? Oh, okay. I guess we're continuing. This is just a recap. Yeah. So that's what happened. And part now, two. part two of Hidden Agenda. I love that the tutorial is literally tutorial, like that, like it's not voice one or whatever. It's yeah. Gender, it's just tutorial. <laughs> I kind of like the um, the narrator too. Police department. Who has the greatest sense of loyalty? Ooh. We're both pretty loyal. We both are super loyal. All my batteries are pretty much dead. I'm sorry. I had to announce that to my life. We're talking about vape batteries, sorry. by the way. We're vape juice bags, you know. We are vape lords. Okay, who has greatest loyalty? Oh, fuck my life. We both have really, really good loyalty. Fuck it. I'm just gonna do me, me, and then the game will decide. Bio. Yeah, I voted for her for reasons. Oh. I just voted for myself because I was like, fuck it, let's just vote for each other. Not saying that like, I'm not loyal. <laughs> okay. Simon, how you holding on? Yeah, you okay? Hey, you know, you, you, you extra you work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Hey, now. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, hey, listen up. Tell him. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. I get it. Concerned you really think this is a trapper, or curious what's the latest on the witness? I say curious. Yeah, I want to know about the witness. The prostitute... Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? Call girl? We got an APB out, and uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan it. Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the trapper's MO. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey. I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Anyone has a problem with that, you know where my office is. Detective Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old trapper case files. We'll look at the links here. Anything we could have missed. Will do. Annoyed? You want me doing paperwork or restrained? Yeah, sure. No, I, I want to fucking do it. I want to look in his files. I yeah, want let's to do it. File. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Like, remember, I want. Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. He's doing proud. Rest in peace, man. Rip. Even though he was a dick, he was still a cop. And a person. He was a person too. How are you holding up? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Anxious to think I'm crazy or staring at tough losing a cop. I say anxious. Let's tell her the truth. Like, what do you think? 
she's a DA and they're bros. Like, come on. They're sisters. Okay. No, it's okay if you want to go restrained. That's fine. I don't know. I'm just like, because I, I don't want her to seem like she can't focus on the case. But then again, my thought is saying anxious, so let's go with anxious. Okay. Like, my logical side is saying one thing, but my... Know. But these two are all by themselves. Like, she can be honest. I can't get a break. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Hey, don't stress out. Where? For last night? They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. But paperwork, though. Research. But, like... My logical side is saying one, and my emotional side is saying another. Morning. I feel it. Why did you need an alibi for me last night? We were going to get into this now. Yeah. Only the friend who is most loyal Motherfucker. can make this choice. Speak my language. Annoyed, concerned. Annoyed? Why don't you trust me or concerned? We got to be honest with each other. We got to be honest with each other. Actually, that wasn't as hard as I thought. That I support that decision. You're my partner. We gotta be honest with each other. Look, everyone knows about what was going on between you and Calvary. You've got motive, so I'm just doing my job. I thought that you would have missed me. It's not about the size. It's better that it's me asking questions, okay? Some of these guys... Yeah, yeah. Right. right. I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be screwed. So yeah, motive. That no one had filed a complaint on him. And you know, this wasn't the first time he was with a hooker. He was a grade A creep, but there's still going to be questions. And the more distance you have, the better. Why do you think Sarge put you on file work? Assertive, don't push me, or uh, depressed, I thought you were my partner. Um. He's kind of being, I mean, he's doing his job, but I don't want to fight he's with him. He's being a dick about it. He's just being a dick about it, but I don't want to fight with him. Because if I, if you say... Well, don't push me. That sounds. You're just too aggressive. Suspicious. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go. This Depressed, one. yeah. I thought you were my partner. I'm just making sure we got our story straight. So, you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's not fair. We have to try. Coral. To yeah. We do. Coral, get in the fucking house. <laughs> Every episode of The Walking Dead, Coral's not. In the fucking house. <laughs> Coral that killed people. Oh, what? Adam Edwards was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Oh, she's recording. It on her phone. Okay. Oh, um. Trapper's first victim, Lost Promise Orphanage, or Orderly from a Lost Promise. I think we should investigate the first victim That's first. That's what I was thinking, because I'm like... He's gotta have a link. That's what I want to know. Like third precinct, or the... The drugs, or the, the orphanage, something. or something. What's he got a link to? So, sorry, so, I had to check the fire! Like fire. Hell fire! Okay. Wait, should we read our, our book first? Yeah, let's read our book first. Okay, Officer Minosios responded to a break-in. Okay, yeah, Becky was summoned to the scene of recent murder. The police assembled to dust Calvary's murder. Becky confronted her partner about a suspicious attitude, and Becky searched for clues in the old Trapper case files. Okay, Becky, after Calvary's murder, Becky went through his old case files to search for clues. Felicity, <sighs> after Calvary's murder, Felicity worked closely with the police to catch the killer. Um... We have an Adam Jones, a picture on Adam Jones. There's no update, but there's a picture, the same picture you guys saw on the screen. But he would be the longer-haired kid. Yeah, not the one against the tree, but the, the longer. Okay. Okay. Orphan presumed dead, it says. And I think that's about it. All right, here we go. So, I agree. So. Unpause. There you oh. go. Investigate Trapper's first victim. Yeah. Back to the beginning. The end of The one target had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm going to go see if she wants to be checked. Here we go. I certainly would. Who do you think is the most honest? 
<laughs> You're looking at me, aren't you? Mm. Oh. We're both honest and dishonest that the, t the time requires. Yeah, but I'm a bitch honest. That's why I was laughing. I was thinking more of lies and slander than, like, bitch honest. Oh, like go gossipy. Or, like, just lying in general. Ah, yes. yes. Not saying that you, you lie. God, that came out wrong. Why the fuck you lying? lying. <laughs> anyway. Why you always lying? <laughs> oh, it's your choice. Okay, uh, serious, I want the police respectful. I, I would say respectful. Yeah. I, I, I'd like I, to talk I, about your I'd husband. I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Oh, sassy. She's really young. Ooh. Oh, this is why. Huh? Okay, do we lie? Or... Serious, I'm a detective or nonchalant, I'm a reporter. Ooh. We can't lie. We can't because I feel it because it would come back and bite you in, in your ass. ass. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's go with this one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah. Where was y'all when I called at two in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions for me. Maybe now I ain't got time for you. All right. You gonna tell me exactly what it is you want to know? Okay, hold up, hold up. I got a few a few observations here. First off, that man was gray. He was in his 50s. It could just be with a younger woman. Secondly, she looks to be in her 30s. This was five years ago, so yeah, that's possible. But at the same time, I can automatically see a connection because this trapper killer has been taking out people that... Obviously, the trapper killer knew this woman and knew she was getting hit, so he decided to test out his little plan. What if she was in the orphanage? She could have been in the orphanage. Ooh. Yeah, there's got to be a connection. There's just not no connection here. Okay, um, new update. Becky spoke to the widow of one of the victims. And then Jody, Jody Jones. That sounds like a... Johnson? Like, Johnson. Wow. Whatever. Johnson. Victim's widow... Jody was married to Rupert Walsh, the trapper's first victim. Okay, so... Yeah, he looks to be in his 50s, but that's just, like, my observation, though. I'm sure it's a good one. If you give me the benefit of the doubt. But anyway, yeah. let's go. Okay. You should have told the cops. No, she said that she called the cops. Yep, so... Sympathetic. I'm sorry he treated you like that. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. It sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, yeah. one way or another husband ever used the services of a call girl? <laughs> what are you kidding? He sucked his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am. What if she was a call girl? By the name of Adam Jones? That would explain her youth. Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. Oh, look at that. We have a connection. So we know he didn't die in the book. Oh, uh, uh. That one's Shh. creeping. That's, a, that's fucking Adam, man. She or knows. it's like heavy rain. There's she knows like. Someone's following him. Uh huh. Following her. Get it. Get it. Becky, fuck him up. That's a woman. No. Those calves are real <laughs> slender. Get it. Oh, Get shit. it. Oh, wait, I bet we got a quick time here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quick time events are the worst. <gasps> oh, shit. I got her over. I got her over. <laughs> shit. I got it. I got it. Thank you. You got better. I got quick fingers. It's because I keep taking my finger off the screen. Oh, shit. Got you got it. it. I was looking for it. Got it. You were right ahead of me. Okay, ready, ready, ready. What the hell do you want? Drugs. <laughs> drugs. drugs. You want some drugs? Whoa. Whoa, there was a... It was a ripple. God, you can't jump. You just jumped all kind of... Jumped that goddamn fence. This is 609. In pursuit of an unknown suspect. Average height. was blue. Dark hoodie. Yeah, that's a lot to go on.
she should be carrying like I would have shot his ass in the foot it was an accident accidental discharge who do you think is the most daring well it depends we already talked about bravery what's the difference between bravery and daring I try anything I'll try anything once so I guess I'd be daring yeah I'll give it to you there's some things I'm like nope do you want to go scuba diving in the deep ocean and go look at that chair Marnie, I'll try anything once. Will you? Meet you there? Uh, yeah. You fly my ass okay. there. You pay for everything. Oh, we're doing things. Everything okay? Felicity asked if everything okay. Found. You yeah. tell her in case something happens. She needs to know. Like Adam Jones may have actually worked for the Undertaker. Wow. As far as I can tell, it seems to be after he's supposed to be dead in that guy. That's that's huge. So he's real. There's more. Someone was on my tail. <laughs> Yes, but they bolted the second I made them. It could have been nothing. It's not exactly the nicest part of town. No, they were following you in the damn you complex, that. too. Parking. Parking garage. Garage? Okay, pause. 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 Okay, Adam Jones. After he escaped the orphanage, Adam worked as a assistant to Rupert Walsh, the first trapper victim. Rupert Walsh. Walsh hired Adam Jones as an assistant Walsh beat his wife and frequently used the services of prostitutes. Okay, uh, plot. Becky searched for truths in the old clapper case file. Crap. Tra clapper. The old crapper case files. And Becky spoke to the widow of one of the victims. Okay, and then Stalker. This is the ripple effect. Stalker. Becky had a good look at the figure following her. Uh, Hookers. Go, uh, the Undertaker's widow said husband regularly used prostitutes. And then day release. Finn took Becky to the house where Adam Jones was raised. What? Finn, the the convict. Oh, this must be like right now. Yeah. Okay, we got spoiled. Okay, whatever. It's okay. Okay, that was right here. I apologize for us being so quiet because this game is just absorbing us and we're hoping you guys are absorbed too. 20 hours until things are keeping. Now keep in mind this game is different every time people play through it because all the choices do different stuff. She's so short. Good to see you again. Or he's super tall. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? Okay, huh? Hey, he's out of jail, so... He should just be happy he's able to breathe some fresh air. Tighten cuffs or loosen? Ugh. Let's loosen. We can handle him. We're not taking them off, we're just loosening them, yeah? Yeah. And the more yeah. nice we are to him, the more cooperative he'll nice. be. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. What? Huh? We had to go somewhere after the orphanage burned, I'm guessing. Maybe he was there before the orphanage, too. <laughs> I wish I'd let you doodle your pointers across the screen. Alright, give us five. Start the tour, boss. No, I wouldn't have the other cop. Leave us. I would have no, him. No, they're following. No, she said, give us five, boss. And she made oh. him walk out. Someone's following. This room That's right the, the district attorney. This is where Felicity. Slept when he ran away. Nobody's See? been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say you'd be here to greet us. Oh, clues, clues, clues. Okay, tent, obviously. Okay. Uh, I won't. Did you get the box? Oh, oh, oh! We found all three! Yeah. Woo! <sighs> Trophy urge CSI, fuck so yeah. So you're saying that this is, this is his, not some squatters? Squatters wouldn't dare. So he was pretty intimidating. Report on the orphanage file, I found that. Motherfucker. Yeah. Las Plumas Orphanage destroyed arson attack, something like that? Yeah. I was looking at my vape during that text first popping up on screen. There's mousetraps. 
What is all this? Angel found the box of pest control supplies. You don't uh, Why did he grow up here, though? Because Adam knew that much about Pop. Traps. Well, they were older. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's hmm. time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Oh, Adam's pop would get so blasted. He's got he three hours. That was answering my question. Yeah. His dad was a drunkard. But they gave him three hours. Why are they rushing them in the only destination that they really have at this point? I don't know. Sorry. We have a new plot? No. Mine's all gray again. Uh, Person. Finn Adam took Jones. Becky to the house where Adam Jones grew up. And Adam Jones, Adam's father was a pest control officer. Adam grew up surrounded by m rat traps. Okay. Beat yeah. his wife's sentence if she gave him one crooked look. Hmm. One night she loaded up his double lock, took what? his head clean off. Connections. Right yep. Trapper's first target, he beat his wife too. The Undertaker. Another drunk. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Wow. Wow. No. Judge, judge's verdict was harsh. Yeah, she was defending herself and her child. No. Uh-uh. I'm glad you feel no, the same. I would have used the takeover if you wanted to be harsh. I was going to use it. That's harsh. That's Judge Vanstone. You're kidding Think I'd kid about the man who sentenced me to die? A couple of weeks in, Mama Jones hung herself in her cell. Oh Christ. no! So yeah, Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there. Minsky and that piece of shit orderly. And you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops. Third precinct. And nobody there it did is. a goddamn that was just 25. That hellhole. He figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops, he knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed. Parents failed. System failed. Trophy earned bad blood. He took out the people who hurt us. But just damn. Yeah. Hold that's on. that's. Oh, we got it. Go ahead. Okay, so at, uh, okay, so Adam fought a pest control. We already did that one. Uh, he was sent to Las Palmas after his mother murdered his violent, violent father. I was trying to read something else. And then Judge <coughs> Van Stone sentenced Adam's mother to life imprisonment for killing her abusive husband. Fuck that guy. That's harsh. Like, she was defending herself. All right, let's do this. That was me. Yeah. Okay, assertive, I'd make them pay, or dismissive, not for me to decide. I say not for me to decide. We're cops. We're under suspicion of killing another cop. Yeah. I say dismissive. It's not for me to decide. That's what a jury's for. Yeah, yeah. so I hear. Who gave him the right? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. He's passed all the bullshit for the evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. I mean, I understand. And now I know only God has that. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Hey, that's your religion. You do the you. There is something else. Yeah? The hostage. Hey. You picked me up. Daniela Cardenas. Well, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. We went through the same shit. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Leminski pay. Surprised? I'll call it in or skeptical. The story's getting old. I'm surprised. Yeah. Why would he have another victim? Like. Son of a bitch. God. The hostage was in on it. Yep, that's what it is. Because they scripted this for him getting caught. We're gonna need an APB on a new suspect. Daniela Cardenas. I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Cardenas was not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co-conspirator. 
I'm gonna go outside and hurry. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to dig up the case. You're gonna be all right? Only the friend who is most daring can make this choice. I was... He's helping them. Cause we don't want to die. Confident I'll be fine or cautious time to go. She's thinking. Well, why do you consider I have something to say? And there's more fucking things. Yeah. But, um, the, the women, I, I want to keep the DA, Felicity, and the police officer, Becky, I want to keep them having a good rapport together because the DA can override a lot of things and the DA also needs the police officer. Like, they need each other support because a... Not to be sexist, but is is a police officer and Manny when world they got male judges, male police officers. They need to work together for that, and the fact that they have each other's back. We need to make sure they have somebody they can trust in all this twisting, turning stuff. Also, we loosened the handcuffs. We did. Ooh. Okay, let's read the uh, the logbook. Finn took Becky to the house where Adam Jones grew up. Biography: Adam Jones. Okay, what's the new... Finn claims Adam reported the abuse to the 3rd Precinct Police, but they ignored him. Later, he had his revenge on them all. Daniela all right. Cardinez. Okay, yeah, I'm terrible at those names. Uh, she was later... In, wow. Implicated? Was, yeah, implicated as a co-conspirator in Finn's ruse to pose as the trapper. Fantastic. But a cop still died in it because he set up a trap for oh, her. Oh, and so. a ripple effect. APB, Finn told Becky that his hostage was working with him during his arrest. So, that's all the current events going on. You ready? You ready to make your decision? I s say confident, because he's going to pick up on your... Like, I'm sorry, I know we were letting Lee make it by themselves, but this one seems important. <laughs> I could always interrupt okay. and... Go. She's got it. She's got it. Hey. You don't want him to pick up that you're nervous. Still think I'm making all this up? Less okay. and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. Shit. You're nuts. He's never gonna show his face while I'm on a leash. But I'm not letting him, you off. I can draw him out. Serve him right up on a silver platter. Mm -mm. You're right. Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. No. But it could she work. could take it no. off. No. You're on death row. Did you forget that? For crimes I didn't commit. Did you forget that? Look, there's uh, something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, he'd reach out immediately. Is that so? You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. Okay, 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 hold oh, up. So. He could overpower her, like, unless we know she probably has a gun. But she he's in the handcuffs and they witnessed that. But he could. You know, she's he still going to be blamed for it, but she did tell the officer she's going to be blamed for a lot. But <sighs> I want to believe him. Honestly, I do. I do too. Well, especially with the first victim, having somebody... A kid named Adam worked for him. Like, come on. And they hadn't had any contact with the the first victim's widow since the time of his death. And nobody mentioned that. Okay, but what if... I'm going to be the voice of dissension here. But what if he knew the Adam kid made it out alive, but he didn't want him going back into the system, so everyone reported him dead. And Adam's just a harmless hobo somewhere. Adam could be innocent, and this fucker's been framing him the whole time, like, or making all this shit up, because well, the only concrete evidence, evidence what we had is Adam is alive. Well, was alive when the first of the Trapper murders happened. That's the only thing we can 100% be sure of, because we have someone unrelated to the case cementing that fact. And yeah, we have lots of evidence here, but this could have been this fool's hideout. And he could have used, you know... <sighs> well, you know we need to make a decision. 
in the next video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're awful. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So this has been part three yeah. of our Let's Play Hidden Agenda. You guys will definitely have to come back in the next one to see what our decision will be. So thanks for watching. Angels, Calamity, and... Mm -hmm. See you guys later. Bye-bye.